This is uh, another video about the machete, the bushcraft machete got set up. And if you didn't catch any other videos, there's uh, there's four parts. I've got uh, a Scandinavian or saber edge grinded into the back half of the blade, and I've just got a really sharp uh, convex edge on the uh, the chopping part of it. Now this part right here is flat ground, so. Uh, you can do some shavings perpendicular and I'll show you how that works and this part of it is rounded off so I can grab it I can push it or I can use the scanty edge as a draw knife or a power planer without a baton now I'm going to use my baton as an example it needs a little work can you see this alright yeah you can see this alright so what we're going to do Got to be careful when you're working with uh, sharp blades, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to draw it like this, and this is some really, really hard wood. This is some of the hardest wood I've come across around here, and uh, the reason why I'm using this one is because it's long enough to go here, and uh, I don't really have any longer pieces here. It's raining outside. I'm not going to go collect anything, but you can see what I'm doing here is uh, pulling off pieces and uh, if you do it to cedar especially to the bark you see lots of whoa, lots of pieces coming off of there now if it's too short you're going to want to do it this way and uh, that's when you can put it on the ground and push it but you can see it coming off now you can also make shaving the uh, the shavings from with the back here and you can see these fine shavings are coming off and you can use that as tinder now it's not going to be your absolute finest tinder but it's going to be better than nothing if uh, if you can't find any tinder anywhere you can just make your own tinder you can also uh, conserve energy so you won't have to go find tinder even if it is available by using this right here uh, depending upon how far your tinder is of course it's messy now the uh, machete convex edge is meant for chopping now you can chop through vines when you're uh, clearing a trail through the, uh, the, the woods or the forest or the jungle. Uh, machetes are often used in jungles. There's no jungles around here, but you know what I mean. But uh, you can also hack wood, and you can see I'm just I'm just holding this with my hand. I'm coming down on this piece of cedar, and it's uh, it's doing a nice job on the wood without even a whole lot of uh, effort there. Now the harder wood, it's uh, it's going to take more work. The, these uh, machetes, if you have a good machete, it is hard to uh to get the grind right uh i used uh used different types of hand files and grinders and uh i eventually went to the uh electric grinder the double wheel because it was just taking too much time you can see it's not perfect i've uh i've worked on it a couple of times and uh you know it does the job but like i said it's not perfect now if you take your four way with you you can maintain the blade while you're out in the bush. This four-way is, is awesome for all types of stuff. And uh, if you had to, you could grind uh, the blade. You can put a, a better grind on the blade out in the bush with the four-way. But you can see what I've done right there already. It, uh, it already looks a lot better with just a little bit of effort there and, and you can see it works a little better too with just a little bit more effort there so spending a little effort maintaining your equipment will save you a lot of effort in the long run of processing stuff alright I'll be back with uh, another demonstration later